what we have here is a demonstration using a extension cord. All right. Plugged into a common voltage from the wall. Uh huh. And we're also using a two wire shielded cable. Okay. With this, we have it connected to our fluke voltmeter. Currently, we're showing single ended voltage here at uh, three and a half volts AC. That's between one of those conductors and earth ground. And earth ground over That's here. That's a lot of noise voltage. How are we gonna make that noise voltage go away? In order to reduce this as much as we can, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is take and show that uh, we have ground here, uh -huh. and we're gonna take the other end of our alligator clips and connect it to the shield of our cable. What okay. that's gonna do is bring this back down to a you know, very minimal millivolt voltage. So. so we didn't move our meter leads at all. We just grounded the shield on that signal wire and it's no longer picking up 3.6 volts worth of noise off that extension cord. It went down just to a, f a few uh, 80 millivolts here. Yes. Pretty substantial reduction. So if you had this connected in the field, all wired up like this, and then suddenly you lost your ground connection, you're facing a lot of noise yeah. between those conductors and earth ground. Possibly corrupting any data that you're gonna mm -hmm. receive now, there's a reason why we should only ground the signal cable at one location. We should not have the shield grounded at both ends. How come? At both ends, if you're gonna, if, which you will, shouldn't see very often in the field, mm -hmm. if you have connection at both ends of your cable, mm -hmm. you will create what's potentially called an earth ground, an earth loop, mm -hmm. which will basically return us to this problem here because of the earth conductivity. So you actually have a loop where current earth ground current could actually pass through the cable. Yes. Which can cause all kinds of noise and other problems too. Very good.